mostly clear skies tonight and today another day in the 80s. 86 was your high, 70 is normal for this time of year. 57 was the low this morning with 45 is the normal low. It's 65 here in St. Joseph, so comfortable conditions, but definitely on the warm side for this time of year. And tomorrow will likely feel pretty similar. 61 is our dew point, 87% humidity, but the winds are nice and calm. That's not going to be the story tomorrow. Looks like it is going to be pretty windy out there tomorrow as we get ready for our cold front to head through the area. But most of us are sitting in the upper 60s to just about 70 degrees right now. So fairly comfortable conditions out there and we'll keep these clear skies into the overnight hours that we're seeing on the radar. We'll be watching well up towards our north. That's where our next cold front is. Slowly start to sink into our area by the time we get to about Sunday night and that's going to give us our next chance for some rain. But here's a look at what was Hurricane Delta now off towards the east and the south. Still lots of moisture with that system that will likely be moving over the next few days. But quiet conditions for us on the radar right now. So as we move towards the evening hours, temperatures dropping down into just about the mid to lower 60s for most of us tonight. So well above average for this time of year. And then those winds from the south are really going to pick up most of your Sunday. It's going to be completely dry. After about the 10, 11 o'clock hour, that's when we'll start to see your chance of rain move in. But tonight, clear skies, 60 for your low. And tomorrow, we could see a few showers and thunderstorms late in the day, 85 for your high. That's bringing your next cold front. And look at these temperatures cooling down next week. We'll be back into the 70s, slowly warming up by midweek. And then another cold front heads our way on Thursday. That'll drop us into the 60s for next week. So